Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video I'm going to react to 15 times that animals save the lives of other animals. This is going to be really interesting for me and I'm sure a lot of you guys too because you know most people believe that animals mostly don't have you know sentient intelligence. They're not really aware of themselves like we humans are. So the concept of being able to save the life of another animal for them is lower because they're not aware of the you know the dangers and things like that. Just basically aware of their themselves in general if you know what I mean. So this video here if it truly lives up to expectations of what we expect based on the title, it's really going to blow a lot of people's minds because you know even myself apart from elephants and maybe dolphins and, and and most primates we don't really think that animals are capable of such behavior so this is really going to smash that stereotype i'm really excited for it let's do it in the wild all animals are at risk some more than others but if they don't watch the back their lives may very well be cut short. Sometimes they get lucky, and another animal from another species they've never seen before may lend a helping hand. Wow. Sometimes, the reason why is unknown. Regardless, they should just count themselves lucky. Absolutely. Would a bear rescue a crow? What about a lion saving a baby wildebeest? Keep watching as we count down 15 animals saving other animals. A lion Number saving a wildebeest? I would have thought a lion would just want to eat a wildebeest. 15. Baboons rescue antelope. Baboons can become vicious when they are threatened and will gang up on predators to defend their territory. But what about when another animal is in trouble? Watch how this cheetah targets an antelope and see what happens next. After a quick run, the cheetah finally captures the antelope, but a group of baboons intervene and the cheetah abandons its prey. No way. The baboons stand up to the cheetah who hisses at them, and they even chase it for a short distance, scaring the cheetah off. Unreal. The baboons even go check out the antelope to see if it is okay. The antelope seems injured, breathing on the ground, but eventually gets up and has difficulty walking among the baboons, but will live to see another day. Baboons gang up on a leopard this time and they chase it away. Baboons are fierce opponents, but they shouldn't be messed with. Number 14. I mean, that's impressive because it just shows a level of compassion that I just wouldn't have thought that baboons would have for another species. Maybe their own, you know, young cubs and stuff but not another species. Bear rescues crow. Bears have been known to be nice. Watch what happens when this bear finds a crow drowning in a pond next to it. The bear notices the crow and reaches out to it with its paw as if to lift it out of the water. Maybe it is to eat it, but let us watch and see before we jump to conclusions. The bear pulls the crow out of the water with its mouth clinging to one of the crow's wings and just drops the crow on the ground before attending to its food. The crow looks a little out of it and tries getting back on its feet but it doesn't look like it's going to be easy. Eventually, the crow can get up, and the bear still has its back turned away from the crow. Mm. Believe it or not, the bear actually saved the crow from drowning it did? because it had absolutely no interest in the crow afterwards. What a great feat by this friendly and cuddly bear. This next clip shows a- I wonder though, would that bear have eaten the crow if the bear didn't have food that it already, you know, was eating? Like, what do you guys think? I think the bear might have eaten it. But still, it was a great thing for it to do. Crow annoying a big polar bear who does not seem to mind the cow plucking at its fur. It finally feels something and turns around, notices the crow, but doesn't really care. Number 13. <laughs> Orangutan saves chicken. Orangutans are incredibly intelligent beings, probably some of the smartest animals on the planet. When another day at the office. Number 12. Lion saves baby wildebeest. The next sequence is probably one of the weirdest you will ever see. Lions love to hunt wildebeest, it is one of their favorite meals. I love pasta and lions love wildebeest. Put a beautiful plate of pasta with tomato sauce in front of me and I will not hesitate one second to eat it. That is what lions do with wildebeest, but not this time. The lioness on the hunt catches up to a baby wildebeest, and just as she is about to crack it with its teeth, she softens up and doesn't. She remains next to the baby wildebeest and seems to be caressing it with its snout, pushing it softly. Is this some sort of pre-meal ritual? Will the lioness begin chanting a mantra before it gulps its prey? Tune in next week, same bat channel. Just kidding, I get carried away sometimes. 
What is even more surprising is when another lioness attempts to grab the baby yeah, wildebeest for a snack. Stops it. The other lioness prevents it from doing so. Is it keeping this baby wildebeest for later? After it has a real lunch? Just like I would have with my Nutella sandwich after my pasta? It does not look like the lioness wants to eat this baby wildebeest. It probably just wanted to perform a good deed for the day. Number 11. Yeah, that one, like, I'm... Because the lion stopped the other lion from attacking the wildebeest, that really adds credibility to the claim that it's saving its life. Really interesting. Monkey saving baby chick. In this sequence, it seems like a little chick went out exploring and ended up in a pail of dirty water. The chick is stuck and has no way of getting out. Unless, of course, this wise little monkey has something to do with it. The monkey looks at the little chick and decides to help by reaching into the pail with its hand. At first, the monkey seems to be petting the birdie, but it is actually looking for the correct approach and finally grabs it by the wings and lifts it up. It looks at the chick for a few seconds and then that is a cute monkey. <laughs> drops it gently to the ground. The monkey has a friend, a German shepherd dog, wondering what the hell is that little thing that just came out of nowhere. When the dog tries to get a closer look, the monkey puts its hand on it to hold it back. The chick walks quietly onto the grass while the monkey and the dog have a friendly wrestling match. This next little monkey seems to love this older chick, and they just hang out and have <laughs> The monkey's even got a little outfit. <laughs> fun. What a beautiful relationship these two have, but until it was sure the deer was alright. This was a beautiful act by Storm, and today, the baby deer has grown to be a beautiful and healthy. Our next story shows a beautiful relationship between a Great Dane and a deer. They are best of friends, and the Dane is as tall as the grown-up deer. That certainly makes for the perfect odd couple. Mm. Number 9. Monkey saves other monkey. This next story is extremely touching. A monkey tried to save the life of its friend while it was waiting to take the train to go on vacation. Its fellow primate had just been electrocuted oh and it just God. stood there, lifeless on the railway lines in oh India. My God. The monkey was electrocuted as it walked on a high tension wires in Kanpur's railway station, falling unconscious onto the tracks. Commuters watched the incident, but everyone was too busy with their own problems that no one tried helping except this fellow primate. Oh my this God. fantastic footage shows a fellow primate apparently attempting to resuscitate the animal by repeatedly biting, hitting, and dunking him in water. The electrocuted monkey looks stoned out of its mind and is not about to get up anytime soon. Surprise, surprise, the monkey is eventually revived oh, and the goodness. pair are filmed walking away. Thank this goodness. unbelievable event was filmed by a train commuter with his smartphone. I am surprised the commuter didn't run up close to the monkeys and ask them to take a selfie. Hundreds of onlookers watched in amazement as the scene played out. I mean, couldn't someone have like, you know, used a long sort of like rod to get the monkey off? I feel like someone could have done something there, but then again, you know, it is a dangerous situation. This other clip shows a monkey saving a baby monkey from a well. The monkey uses its long leg and tail to hold itself at the top and reaches down to grab the trapped monkey. Wow, what an act of bravery. Number eight. Hippo saving antelope, wildebeest. No way. Hippos are known to intervene when some crocodiles come too close for comfort, so they often help out prey in trouble. It doesn't necessarily mean the hippos are intentionally trying to save the animals in trouble, but who cares? As long as the victim can get away from the grasp of these crocodiles. In our first clip, two crocodiles are trying to devour a wildebeest that is fighting for its life, but the buffet ends up in the water close to a bunch of hippos wondering what's going on. The hippos get pissed off and seem to attack the crocodiles, allowing the wildebeest to set itself free. Is this really happening? Yes, it is, because the wildebeest walks away scot-free. This next clip shows hippos helping out a zebra. The hippos don't eat wildebeest or zebras, so they are either really helping, or they just hate crocodiles with the passion. <laughs> Probably. Honestly, when you look at all this footage, it really feels like the hippos are helping out intentionally. They have saved quite a few animals without receiving any award. Numbers. Is it true that hippos have the strongest bite in the animal kingdom? I think I read somewhere that they have the most powerful bite or the most powerful jaw in the animal kingdom. Someone let me know if that's right or wrong. Seven, dog trying to save fish. Dogs are usually very helpful to humans and many dogs have saved human lives. But what about a dog saving a dead fish? Oh my God. Watch how this dog tries to push water on what seems to be an already dead fish. Aww. Is the dog trying to save the fish? Or is it just merely washing it well so it can eat it later? I have no clue. I think it's trying to save How does the, the dog fish. know it's a fish? And how does it know it needs water? 
That's crazy. Is the dog an actor just performing, acting out what was written in the scripts? It's definitely pushing the water on the fish. That's incredible. I mean, how does it know that it needs, maybe it can remember because it sees the fish swimming in like a pond or something. Some people have suggested the dog is trying to bury the fish with the water. Dogs oh. are believed to have the capacity for empathy and grief. And it is really difficult not to cheer when one witnesses such an act of kindness. Let us put aside our critical thinking hats and imagine this dog knows exactly what it is doing. This beautiful blue Great Dane smells something, but it doesn't quite know what it is yet until it comes face to face with the stranded salmon. The salmon seems to be stuck, but as soon as the Big Dane snout tries smelling the salmon, the salmon takes off. Did the dog save the salmon from drowning or did it scare it to safety? When we see these dogs looking down at fish, bouncing all over the place, it's obvious the dogs don't have a concept of where the fish need to be. You can tell just by watching the dog's reaction. Number 6. Elephant Saving Baby Elephant Elephants are renowned for caring about each other, and if an elephant is in trouble, you can bet your money that the other elephants will do everything in their power to save it. Yeah. Watch this drowning calf, and how the elephants run in panic to try to save it. The two adult elephants run into the water and bring the baby calf back to safety. Same thing happens on the shore of this river, where a baby elephant almost drowns if it weren't for the help of its family. Elephants are honestly probably the most fascinating animal. Like, I was in Thailand recently and went to an elephant sanctuary, and just seeing them up close, how big they are, is just, it's out of this world. I wonder how big their brain is compared to a human. Surely it's got to be bigger because they've got like a, a larger skull. But, and if they've got a bigger brain, wouldn't that indicate that they're quite intelligent animals too? Watch this other baby elephant have trouble in violent waters when its mother grabs it with the help of other elephants and brings it to safety. This next sequence is a little more dangerous. A baby elephant lays on its back and seems incapable of turning over oh to get back God. on its feet. Yeah. Meanwhile, a pride of lions is closing oh. in, so oh. the herd must act quickly. The herd forms a barricade so the lions cannot get to the calf, while some other members of the herd try and get the calf on its feet. You can see some of the elephants trying desperately to get the baby back up. After many attempts, one elephant using its trunk manages to get the baby back up. Nice. What a relief. All baby elephants seem to do is get in oh, trouble. Look how small it is. Another baby elephant is saved by its mother from drowning. These elephants are pestier than my kids. Number five, dolphin saves dog. Dolphins are intelligent and sensitive creatures, so it comes as no surprise that they may assist other animals in times of peril. Watch this dolphin save this dog from sure death by the shark swimming in the area. The dolphin manages to get the dog to hop on its back and swim away what? with it. Dolphins are tough, and they can take on a shark by ramming into it. They aren't always victorious, but they can hold their ground, water, against sharks. Dolphins are also much friendlier than sharks. Yeah. Just watch how yeah. this dolphin plays in the water <laughs> with this golden retriever. Of course, the dolphin is more agile than the dog in the water, but they're still having a great time. Number four. Yeah, dolphins are super smart. Super duper smart. Or, Pig saves baby goat. Pigs are very intelligent animals, and when I saw this goat drowning in the water, I thought it was the end. But guess what? This great little pig swims across the water to rescue the goat. Frankly, I didn't even know pigs could swim. He doesn't even save the goat, he just guides it and shows it the way out of the water. What a smart animal. Watch how this baby goat jumps up and down on this pig. The pig doesn't seem to mind, and the goat is having a blast. Farm animals can be a lot of fun to watch. I've heard many people use the expression when pigs fly, but now I know for sure they can't use the expression when pigs swim, because pigs actually swim. Wow. Number three. It's kind of crazy, because pigs don't really live in water, do they? Like, pigs in... Where are pigs typically found in the wild? Are there, like, bodies of water nearby? Is that how they learn how to swim? Or is it just like an instinctual thing? Dog rescues birds. Dogs are man's best friend, and sometimes they help birds. Just like in this video, when this Labrador retrieves a little bird from the water. It looks like its owner sent the dog on a mission to retrieve the bird, and even guides the dog and tells it to take it easy when bringing back the bird. The dog brings the bird <laughs> back alive. This next clip is not so much a rescue as it is a find. This massive St. Bernard found a bird in the backyard, and its master is telling it to drop the bird, but the dog refuses to. The owner even mentions on the video that he taught the dog the drop command for situations like this one. I guess the dog forgot. The owner finally frees the pigeon, but the pigeon is not in great shape. Oh, no. 
The man lets the pigeon go, but you can see it limping as it walks away. Our next clips are a potpourri of puppies having fun with their bird friends. These clips are absolutely the cutest you'll ever see. This dog and this bird have an amazing friendship. The bird even cleans the dog's teeth while the dog chews on its bone. What happens when you put a dog that can't walk- What kind of dog is this? Like, that is a cute looking pup. I mean, will it? Will this type of dog get a lot bigger or will it kind of stay quite small? It's not a Jack Russell, is it? Walk with the pigeon that can't fly. You get two amazing animals that become friends. And that's exactly what happened with Lundy the Chihuahua and Herman the Pigeon. Gotcha. They became best friends. It's fun to see some happy endings once in a while. Number two, Rabbit rescues a cat. Rabbits are smarter than we think, and this next clip will prove it. Save the cat. Number one, Leopard saves baby baboon. Every time I see a big cat save another animal, I'm flabbergasted. Simply because big cats eat other animals, and they even attack other big cats. Watch wow. this le- What kind of cat was that? That is a cool looking cat. Man, what is this? Big cats eat other animals, and they even attack other big cats. That is the coolest Watch this leopard bring I've his latest seen. catch to a cover, an adult baboon, and then it notices a baby baboon alone in the grass. I wouldn't be surprised the leopard's kill is the baby baboon's mother, but the leopard goes and lays down next to the baby baboon. Sensing danger, the leopard gently takes the baby into its mouth and transports it to safety. After it drops the baby baboon, it confronts the culprit, a hyena, and lets it know it's not welcome by growling at it. It returns to the baby and stays with it, oh, licking it like it was its own. The little monkey wanders off, but the leopard brings it back to order and keeps it close for its own protection. It's unbelievable how some of these predators can show empathy to other species at times, especially when they are babies. Yeah, I must say, my favorite in this countdown has to be the rabbit digging to save its cat friend. The hippos helping out weaker animals was also impressive. Mm. Which one did you appreciate the most? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our countdown Crazy of 15 video. animals saving other- Fun video. I think for me, the most impressive one was the lion, the lioness, that saved the um, the baby wildebeest from another lioness. Because that definitely, for me, without doubt, shows that the lion recognizes and wants to protect that wildebeest. Like, if it had just picked it up and taken it somewhere else, you know, you could have thought maybe it didn't want to kill something so small, maybe it wanted it to get bigger. But the fact that it protected it from another lion indicates a recognition of, you know, the, the, the young age of the wildebeest and wanting to protect it. I don't know, I don't know. What do you guys think of that one? And what do you guys think of this list? Do you think most of these were actual acts of compassion from the animals or were they, you know, things that we've kind of misinterpreted. Maybe it was just doing things, maybe they were just doing it randomly. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.